Hello dudes, I've got a real quick tutorial for you guys today about updating to the dev build or the alpha build of Easy FPS Editor. Most people would go and find this version of the engine, um, this normal CE version, and that's fine. I mean, you can use this one. But as far as I know, this version hasn't been updated in quite a long time. Most of the focus has been on these alpha builds here. So I'll leave the link to this in my description. They're in my other video's descriptions too. Let's assume you have this version of the engine and you just started out and you've made a project and everything. And now you wanna to upgrade to the latest alpha build here. So you'll go over here to this GitHub page. Then you can just scroll down to alpha 53, which is now the latest one. And then you just click on this little link here, just a left click and that'll start downloading. And yeah, there are some warnings here. Due to the high chance of bugs and issues, you run a greater risk of corrupting a project. But so far, mine's been good. But this, yeah, this is important. Always back up your projects before trying a new build. Then once that's done, you can minimize this. And then go to your folder, wherever your Easy FPS editor engine is. For me on this laptop, it's just right here on my desktop. And you can see I have Alpha 47 and Alpha 49 here. So I'll be upgrading from 49 to 53 now. So my technique is to make a whole new folder for this version. So make a new folder and name it Alpha 53 or whatever. So you can see here, I have Alpha 47 with the EXE there and my project folder in there. And then the same thing for Alpha 49. And then this way, if you make a whole new folder for the new Alpha, then you have backups of your project. So you have your project specifically for this Alpha 49, and you have your project specifically for Alpha 47 here. And they'll be backed up and safe in case anything goes wrong. So that's important to always back up your project. So now we have Alpha 53's folder, which is now empty. We'll just go to downloads and grab that EXE. And then just add this to your newly made Alpha 53 folder paste it there and now in order to get the other folders and stuff that you need you'll need to run this program for the first time so let's do that now and don't worry it's not a virus just tell Windows to get out of here and run anyway there we go it's already made some of the files and folders that you need then it'll open it'll say welcome click OK and then you can either get started with a new project straight away or if you want to grab your project from a previous version, then close this. And as you can see, you now have your language, projects, config, and warnings. So then we'll go to our previous version, whether it's CE or one of the previous alphas. We go in here, go to your projects folder, and then grab your project. This folder with all of this stuff in it, all your sprites and textures and everything. So yeah, that's my project name, it's FSM2. So we'll grab this one and grab your config file as well. I don't know if everyone has to do this, but sometimes if I just grab the project folder and try to run it, it doesn't work. So go and grab your project folder and your config file, copy that, and then go to your latest folder, your latest version, and then paste it here in your projects folder. Yeah, and this way we have backups of our projects, specifically for each version of the dev build. Not everyone does it this way, but I do it this way. So it's up to you. Cool, so now that's there and ready. Then we can go ahead and open Easy FPS Editor again, the latest Alpha 53 version. Go to Project, Open Project, and there it is. Double click on that. And if all goes well, you should see your project. And if everything goes really, really well, you should be able to test your project. All right, cool. So yeah, don't mind this version of the project. This is a much older version before I added all the stuff that you saw in my latest progress update. But yeah, everything's working now. So this is now my project from the previous alpha version in the latest alpha version. And yeah, this is just a random 3D door I was working on. <laughs> um, yeah, more on that in another, in another video, <laughs> once I figure it out. Thank you for watching, fellas. 
that is how you upgrade to the latest alpha build. And if you want to check out what's different in the alpha builds, on the GitHub page here, you can see the additions and fixes listed underneath each alpha. And yeah, you can go down to the previous versions too. Everything that's been added in previous versions are, of course, in the latest versions too. So if you're curious about what's different in these alpha builds, you can see it here on the GitHub page. For me personally, it's a lot smoother, way less bugs, and a lot of new features have been added, including recently a really cool one is from Alpha 50 onwards, we now have Steve, we now have Steam achievements unlocked, which is really, really cool. I'm excited about this. Thank you, dudes. Have a good day. Have a good night. I'll see you again in the next video. And take it sleazy. Take it breezy.